Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Back in the UK, uh, if you're wondering why the video's finished so abruptly, it's because I got ill towards the end of my holiday. So yeah, we're going to talk about what happened at the end of the holiday, um, what exactly was wrong with me, and um, how I'm feeling now. Hi guys, thanks for watching. So, you go on holiday for two weeks, the last thing you really expect is to get ill, and I did, unfortunately. I went for two weeks, about 14 days, and the last four of them, um, I wasn't very well at all. Nothing major, but it was enough to keep me not, you know, not able to film, which scuppered some of my video ideas for you on this holiday. But never mind, we're back in November. Started off with like a runny nose and it, it like um, went into like a cough and the first day I wasn't too bad, it, I was still going out drinking and whatnot. but that first night um, I really started coughing in the night and by the second day I woke up even worse. My nose kept going from being blocked to runny, blocked to runny. I was coughing so hard the second night that um, I was like retching the inside of my chest because I was coughing so much. So that was making me throw up as well. So I was throwing up as well. And I remember that second night as well. I was shivering cold in bed. I had to turn all the aircon off. I was sweating, but you know, I'd also got like a, a fever. I mean, luckily it was just like for the one night. So I don't know if it was like a 24 hour fever, I'm not sure. And then after that, it was just constantly like coughing and, and throat issues and nose issues. So I wanted to film some more. I couldn't physically talk. Yeah, I couldn't get my. I tried recording a video, but the the words were coming out all wrong, and I was choking in between sentences, and it was a nightmare. So I decided not to, and that's why you didn't really see anything after I got back from Chiang Mai. Unfortunately, I did try a few things. I got looked after well. I tried some Thai throat medicines. I sent someone away. I, I sent someone to get me some and they came back with a load of Thai herbs and stuff. There were some of these um, like peppercorns. They look like little peppercorns in a packet. Uh, you're supposed to roll them on your tongue and they tasted so awful. They were so bitter. I don't think they did anything either. <laughs> and I also I went to get some cough syrup as well. It's a bit different to the UK cough syrup. They came back with this it was very runny, it was like it was like the consistency of water, which cough syrup in the UK is not like that, it's really thick and gloopy. Um, so I, I this came out with a small bottle and I had to, throughout the day, just drink the whole bottle through the day. Um, I don't think that did anything either really. So anyway, after four days of this, I, I, I still managed to get out, I wasn't completely bed bound. Um, I just had no energy to do anything. I still managed to go out for dinner with a few friends every night and I had a few drinks in the local bar. But all I wanted to do was go back to bed really. I certainly didn't want to film anything. And that's why the videos have come to an abrupt end unfortunately this time round. Uh, even when I got back to the UK I, um, I thought I might have got a chest infection because I started wheezing a little bit as I was breathing deep. Uh, but I thought I would just give the standard UK medicine a try. So I got some th um, nose spray, I got some throat spray, I got some um, really strong paracetamol and I got some proper cough medicine um, and yeah another three or four days and it had cleared up almost so luckily I didn't have to go to the doctors. I didn't need any antibiotics or anything like that. Um, I would have got some antibiotics in Thailand. I think you can get them over the counter um, in the pharmacies, I'm not sure. Um, but I was just, I couldn't, I didn't get around to doing it. I was, I just wanted to stay in bed, you know. I wasn't feeling very well. Trying to send somebody else to get something who doesn't speak much English is a nightmare as well, so. Anyway, that was the um, abrupt end to the holiday, unfortunately. I did manage on the last day, about five hours before we were going to fly, we went to Alcazar, because I really wanted to go. We got the tickets. It was okay. The performance itself was fantastic, the performers were fantastic. 
there was using zip lines, so they got like there was there was going across on the ceiling. There was depth. There was um, you know different stages, different backdrops behind. There was loads of performers. It was really good actually, and we we spotted quite a few that we knew. However, the thing that laid down for me was as soon as it started, I realised what was wrong. It's just a bit old fashioned. The actual physical place, the speaker system. When it, when the music started, I instantly thought, "Oh no!" It's it's got these speakers in the middle, um, about ten speakers in the middle, and that's the only speakers they've got. And nowadays, you're used to hearing sounds coming from all over the place, with, you know, with some punch, you know. But these were really like old, monodirectional speakers and you could really tell and it wasn't very loud either you could hear the um, you could hear the performers walking on stage it was that low it just it was really underwhelming with the sound but visually it was absolutely fantastic um, they just need to update the speaker system really and they also uh, when we got there there were coaches obviously arriving coaches and coaches um, and they shoved us into a side room with no aircon to wait to prioritise these coaches and we sat there for about 10 minutes sweating and um, we eventually rebelled and we just walked straight past everyone and went straight in. <laughs> uh, we were on the front row as well and um, being on the front row I knew what was going to happen and it did. You know the funny acts you get in between the serious ones? Well this uh, really big Thai lady with big, you know, well endowed fake obviously came down the stage and because I'm on front row she came straight to me because I'm the biggest person there and um, she, you know she shoved my face in her um, <laughs> breasts and uh, yeah it was quite funny really she picked on me it was really quite fun really sorry I have to keep waiting for cars to go by it's quite annoying but anyway I'm back now we managed to go for some dinner before we left we went to the Patea beer garden before we left and we had some Falang food just because I didn't want to fly on Thai food obviously so yeah we went to Alcazar had some food on the last day and then went then went home went to the airport went home back at work now um, I'm just actually being I'm supposed to be at work now actually I'm being paid to sit here and record this video which is great <laughs> I'm at, if those of you that don't know I work um, I actually live and work in Sherwood Forest if you've heard of Robin Hood um, I am actually, I live in Sherwood Forest, on the very outskirts of the start of it, I'm as close as you can get um, to living in Sherwood Forest. And it's okay, um, it's back to the grind, it's awful, I hate it, you know, need to get back to Thailand really. I'm looking to go for five weeks, um, sort of the end of October, I want to go to Patea for a few days and then go to Chiang Mai for the 1st of November for the full month and then come back to Patea for a few days and then go home so yeah about five or six weeks in November you know, end of October beginning of December I'm back here for Christmas um, I can't be away for Christmas my mum would kill me <laughs> uh, but then in January I'm hoping to go back again as well so that's it really just an update really of why the abrupt ending of the videos happened I wasn't very well nothing too major but it's not very nice you know spending a third of your holiday feeling drained and uh, energyless but there you go it happens to everyone thanks for watching I really appreciate it um, I'll see you again soon thanks a lot guys